Today we are talking about Diamond Clarity Ratings, and this presentation is brought to you by www.qualityvintageengagementrings.com. Now as we're talking about the value of a diamond, keep in mind that the value is not based just strictly on the Diamond Clarity Ratings. Um, diamond value is based on four different features, the cut of the diamond, the clarity, the color, and also the carat weight. But this presentation is focusing just specifically on the diamond clarity ratings to help you understand the clarity of the stone. Diamond clarity ratings uh, refers specifically to the flaws that are on a diamond, um, both internally and on the outside of the diamond. And basically, a diamond clarity rating is just a judgment of the diamond's purity. If a diamond has less flaws, then it's more pure, and that means it's a higher quality gem, which also means that it's going to be more expensive. So if you're looking for a higher quality gem, then you're going to want to get one that doesn't have as many flaws in it, but if you're looking to save some money, then you might consider getting a diamond that does have a few small flaws in it. When a diamond is rated for clarity, the appraiser views the stone under 10 times magnification. Um, that's kind of the general rule of thumb. It's a standard across the board that that 10 times magnification is, is the level that they look at it. And as they're looking at the stone, they're looking for different spots of color, either black or white or any, any color on the rainbow, and um, maybe tiny cracks in the stone, cloudy spots, or any other type of blemishes. Anything that, that detracts from the natural purity of the diamond would be considered a blemish. And they actually do, do call those inclusions, is what the term is that they use to refer to those flaws. Now, there are several levels that the diamond can be rated at. Um, the diamond clarity ratings start at flawless, and a flawless diamond has no inclusions or flaws that can be viewed under 10 times magnification. And then um, to go down the chart, the next is internally flawless, which means that there are no flaws on the inside of the diamond, but there may be a small flaw um, on the external part of the diamond, on the outside of it. Usually, if, if there is a flaw on the external part of the diamond, it's going to be kind of around like the girdle area of the diamond. Um, the next step in, in this rating chart is very, very slightly included, and there are actually two sections within this rating scale. There's VVS1 and VVS2. Um, VVS1 is a higher quality than VVS2 is. And these diamonds have very small inclusions, um, but they're very difficult to see, even under that, in the, under the high magnification. Kind of the rule of thumb for it is that these blemishes cannot be any bigger than the size of a pin. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how small they are and then the next level is very slightly included and again there's two levels within this rating there's VS1 and VS2 um, the very slightly included diamonds do have minor inclusions but the flaws cannot be seen by the naked eye and so the flaws are only viewable under the the microscope under that magnification and then moving along the chart, we've got slightly included, and again this is split out into two categories, slightly included one and slightly included two. And these diamonds have small to medium flaws that may be noticeable to the naked eye. So at this point, this is where we're going to start being able to see the blemishes and, and notice that, that there are some flaws on the stone. And you can see those without the magnification. And then the last level is called the included level, and there's actually three levels within the included rating. Um, there's I1, I2, and I3. And the included stones have visible flaws, and if you start to get down to the, like the I3, the lower level of this rating, um, some of those flaws may threaten the durability of the stone. There may be a crack or some type of a, a, you know, a chip in the stone that could threaten the stone itself, possibly you know, the crack could go deeper and the stone could break or something like that. So, do keep in mind that if you are going with a stone that is in the included category, it is a possibility that the stone is not as strong as some of the other clarity ratings. Now, with these diamond inclusions, um, a few things to keep in mind. These flaws in the diamond do not affect the brilliance of the stone. 
the stone will still have you know a beautiful a beautiful shine and a beautiful glitz to it but the flaws can be seen if you're looking for them if it's if it's a big flaw but they don't affect the brilliance um, the flaws do affect the price though if you're wanting to save on some money then you might consider getting a diamond that does have a few flaws because then you can you know get a bigger stone for a cheaper price um, or on the other hand if you want a very very high quality stone you can get one that is flawless, um, you know, or just internally flawless, and you're going to pay more money for it, but you're going to know that that stone is very high quality. One thing to think about also is if you do decide that you want to save a little bit on your budget, you may buy a diamond that has flaws, but notice where the flaws are on the stone because you might possibly be able to hide those with the setting that you're putting it in. It all depends on what setting you're using and where the flaws are on the stone, but it is definitely a possibility because then you won't be able to see the, the inclusions that are included in that gem. So that's just a brief overview of Diamond Clarity Ratings. Um, hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about how the diamonds are, are scored um, in relation to clarity. There are, like I said, other, other you know, factors that affect the value of the stone, but you can find information about that if you're interested in learning about like the cut or the color um, or the carat weight, just check out our website. We've got tons of information there to help you with your diamond purchase. So, and again, that website is www.qualityvintageengagementrings.com.